In this repair we are going to show you how to disassemble the Samsung Galaxy S1. Before we begin it is important that you turn the device off. For this repair we are going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a plastic pry tool and a flathead screwdriver. First we're going to start by taking off the back cover. Start at the bottom of the phone and pry up the back case. This should then lift off and we can remove. Next we're going to start by removing the battery. Start at the bottom, lift up and remove. We can now go ahead and take our Phillips screwdriver and remove the seven small screws which hold this plastic bezel in place. Now we have removed all of the seven screws, we can go ahead and start to remove this plastic bezel. Taking your flathead screwdriver, start at the top right hand side of the phone and start to lift up the bezel like so. Work your way down the S1. releasing each of the plastic clips down the side of the phone. We can now go ahead and remove this plastic insert, like so. Next we can go ahead and begin to remove the ribbon cables which are attached to the logic board. Start with the LCD cable on the right hand side. Next by taking your plastic tool we can remove the antenna. Once all of these ribbon cables have been detached, you can go ahead and begin to remove the logic board. We can then go ahead and start to remove the logic board. Taking your plastic pry tool, we need to detach the small power button flex cable on the left hand side of the phone. This is held down by adhesive. Once this has been removed, 
we can go ahead and start to remove the logic board. Start at the top and gently lift up and out of the phone like so. You can then go ahead and remove the top headphone jack, speaker, mesh and the rest of the ribbon cable. Take your plastic pry tool and gently lift up We can then go ahead and remove this cable like so. Next we can remove the antenna cable. Now with this bottom bracket we are unable to remove this as it is connected below the LCD. We can now go ahead and take our new LCD and start to reassemble it with all the necessary features. First we're going to start with the headphone jack and speaker mesh at the top of the phone. Insert this into place and press down gently. Next we can go ahead and reattach the antenna cable. Work your way along and make sure that it's comfortably in place. Next we can go ahead and reattach the logic board. We need to be very careful not to tear any of the ribbon cables whilst inserting the logic board. Now the logic board is in place, we can go ahead and reattach all of the necessary ribbon cables. Starting with the LCD on the left hand side. Now all of the flex cables have been put into place, we can go ahead and reattach the plastic bezel. This will simply snap into place. We can now go ahead and reattach all of the seven screws.
Now all of these seven screws have been inserted, we can go ahead and reattach the battery. Starting at the top, press down and then gently push down on the bottom, like so. We can then go ahead and reattach the bottom casing. This will simply click on. Now we can go ahead and turn on our S1. There we have a successful Samsung Galaxy S1 reassembly.